Hey, uh, my name is Wilson. Um, I've made a few videos and haven't edited and posted them, but uh, I've wanted. Uh, this has been on my mind for a long time, making uh, videos around my poker journey, and so I'm going to start today. Um, I plan on doing one video a day right now, which sounds pretty ambitious, but I think I can do it if I put my mind to it uh, and truly uh, am as earnest as I'm telling myself about wanting to do this. So I'm at Spades uh, right now. It is July 24th, 2024. I'm here for my eighth session since getting back into poker after a three month break. My first session was June 28th here. Um, I'm up about 3,446 if I'm remembering correctly so far through my first seven sessions. That includes my payments for entry and my the hourly rate here, which is $12. I'll get into that more later though and what my long-term goals are, but for now, uh, here at Spades to grind session eight since getting back into it. So I'll update you soon. Okay, uh, about an hour ago, we wrapped up our four hour session. Uh, I will post my current results here for my first eight sessions back grinding since I took my three month break. Uh, obviously you can see not the result we were hoping for today. I made a stupid bluff against a guy who really liked his hand. I'll, I have an interesting story about him and another gentleman. Um, but yeah, he had six, seven XX on King six, seven deuce 10. And I knew he liked his hand, but I knew he was weak. Uh, but I should not have bluffed because of the former information. I, he just liked his hand, and the hand strength doesn't matter at that point. If if a guys like him like their hand, they're going to put in the call. Uh, but uh, it is what it is, and yes, that was PLO. Uh, for the last two years, I've been grinding Pot Limit Omaha here in Houston, mostly at Texas Cardhouse Spring on the north side. Uh, now I'm down here at Spades and Webster will be probably where I'm putting going to be putting in most of my hours moving forward. But uh, yeah, uh, obviously, again, not the result we were hoping for tonight, but we will take $70 an hour so far through my first 34 or so hours in my first eight sessions. A couple of interesting stories. Uh, one guy was on the phone really loud uh, in at the bar area in uh, spades, which I will show in a future video. I'll show uh, the interior, but uh, he was talking really loud on his phone in the bar area. And the person on the phone wanted food or was wondering where they were going to go for food. And he suggested lubies, which I haven't, I did not know there were any lubies left in existence. I thought they, I thought that they had gone bankrupt or closed all of their locations, but this gentleman was recommending a location um, and the whole room heard him. So either he's horribly incorrect and Luby's doesn't exist anymore and he's leading that person he's talking to down a non-existent path or I'm wrong and Luby's still exists. Um, additionally, he was speaking to this, uh, the last guy that pulled up to the table uh, during my four hour session, he sat in seat two and the pr gentleman prior that I was discussing was in seat three. They had an interesting discussion about uh, women's reproductive parts. Uh, the doctor guy, he was a seat two that arrived, he was a gynecologist, so seat three had a bunch of misconceptions that the gynecologist was happy to help clarify. Like for example, women's eggs uh, age with them um, and so on. And this guy was just fascinated or at least pretending to be. He was an older guy. Uh, the doctor, the gynecologist was about uh, maybe 10 years younger than him, maybe early 50s. This guy was early 60s. Anyway. Um, additionally, uh, there were a couple of regulars in there that, uh, I was yucking it up with George and Matt. Uh, they're 
couple of interesting dudes. Um, nothing too crazy uh, with them though. But uh, Matt, especially, I think is super solid. So somebody to watch out for for sure. But uh, it's a good, it's good action. It's a good game. Um, I'll put my lifetime stats up now, right here. Uh, or no, I, I say lifetime, but they're not my lifetime stats. Uh, these stats are from the past two years. I wasn't tracking before that. I can definitively say that I've been a winning player for the past two years, obviously. I think the answer is more like the past three years, but the seven years prior to that, no chance. Uh, definitely a losing regular. Uh, but uh, things have turned around at this point and uh, pretty stoked about that. So gonna keep putting in the hours and hopefully keep running into entertaining people because this, you know, this barely scratches the surface. There, there are several more entertaining regulars and happenings at poker tables in Houston, I can assure you. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll, I'll get deeper into my uh, results for the past two years in a future video. But uh, yeah, this was July 24th, uh, lost a band, but uh, it is what it is. We'll take, like I said, we'll take that $70 an hour win rate that we are uh, starting off with here. Um, yeah, so anyway, appreciate you for watching. Uh, plans for the YouTube channel. I do want to make one video a day. Again, interesting characters, deep stacks. I do want to be putting in a lot of hours, so I feel like I'll have the content to do it. Um, interior of spades, maybe playing one orbit at each uh, poker room in Houston uh, in a single day, stuff like that. Uh, yeah, so uh, I plan on filling the channel up with that and playing a bunch of cards. So uh, I appreciate any and all support, and uh, thanks for watching.